most of them say the universe is about 13 billion years old. What if it's not? Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. The JWST has discovered a celestial object so old that it has sparked a debate among astronomers all over Earth. The revolutionary telescope has detected a structure that could be just a few million years younger than the Big Bang, causing scientists to reevaluate the age of the universe. So what is this celestial structure, and what does it tell us about the beginning of our cosmos? Let's take a closer look. The New Discovery The James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's highly anticipated successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, is revolutionizing our comprehension of the universe. Among its groundbreaking achievements is the recent identification of a structure dating back an astounding 13. Eight billion years, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This celestial structure appears to surpass the age of the universe itself, prompting more questions than answers. Could it be plausible for a structure to predate our universe? Or is there a flaw in the Big Bang theory? Contrary to expectations, this ancient structure is not a black hole, nebula, or galaxy. Rather, it is a star, specifically an exceptionally old and unique star known as HD 140283. Situated in the constellation Libra, approximately 190 light-years from Earth, this ancient star is intriguing due to its age and proximity. While it can be observed with binoculars from Earth, the peculiar aspect is that its age seemingly surpasses that of the universe. Not only is this star ancient, but it also possesses remarkable speed, traversing the sky at a staggering 800,000 miles per hour. What adds to the intrigue is that HD 140283, better known as Methuselah, ranks among the oldest stars known to scientists. Utilizing data from the European Space Agency's Hipparcos spacecraft, scientists attempted to determine the star's age in 2000, arriving at an estimated figure of 16 billion years. This calculation was not only mind-boggling but also quite perplexing. In comparison, studies of the cosmic microwave background have led scientists to calculate the age of the universe at 13, 8 billion years. The contrast between Methuselah's estimated age and the age of the universe raised eyebrows. Methuselah, named in reference to a biblical patriarch who purportedly lived to the age of 969, making him the longest-lived figure in the Bible, seemed ancient. Given that Methuselah is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium with minimal iron, it suggested that the star must have formed before iron became abundant in the cosmos. However, being more than 2 billion years older than the surrounding environment seemed implausible. This incongruity sparked questions about the accuracy of our dating methods and raised doubts about the star's age and consequently, the age of the universe. Could Methuselah be a remnant from another universe? Is the universe possibly older than our current understanding? The widely accepted estimate for the time elapsed since the Big Bang is 13, 79 billion years. This figure has been corroborated through various methods, primarily relying on the expansion of the universe as described by Einstein's theory of relativity. However, this seemingly well-established number is now encountering three distinct challenges. One of the challenges arises from the existence of stars believed to be either older than 13, 8 billion years or so near that age, defying the expected timeline for their formation. Proponents of this viewpoint consider these stars as evidence challenging the conventional estimate. Notably, HD 140283 has been a focal point in this debate, with some arguing that its age contradicts the Big Bang theory. The logic follows that if there is even one star aged 14 billion years, the explosion initiating the universe couldn't have occurred less than 14 billion years ago. The age of the universe. The Big Bang theory has become a cornerstone in our understanding of the universe, and its denial would potentially trigger a scientific revolution of significant magnitude. A more conservative adjustment would involve accepting the recent claim that the Big Bang occurred almost twice as long ago as most estimates propose, placing it at 26, 7 billion years ago. While astronomers generally do not strongly endorse either theory, some entertain the possibility that the universe is actually 15 billion years old, suggesting that our estimations of the Big Bang's chronology might be slightly off. However, even if proven, these adjustments would prompt evolutionary rather than revolutionary changes in our thinking. In this context, 
the absence of 20 billion year old stars becomes intriguing when contemplating a universe purportedly aged 26 billion years. While scientists have explored only a fraction of our galaxy, Methuselah, despite being part of this limited examination, seems anomalously young if the universe indeed stretches back 26 billion years. Delving deeper into this line of inquiry leads to the question of what we might observe if the universe had no distinct beginning and has existed perpetually. Looking beyond our Milky Way, the stars within the globular cluster M92 are estimated to be around 13, 8 billion years old. Despite the James Webb Space Telescope detecting the ages of some very distant galaxies, none appear to surpass the age of HD 140283 significantly. Numerous measurements converge on the age of the universe at around 14 billion years, contrasting with the proposed 26 billion years. In addition to factors like the cosmic microwave background and the measured expansion rate from supernovae, considerations of the universe's large-scale structure and the age of the oldest stars further contribute to this complexity. It is crucial to note that while contemporary techniques for determining star ages may offer more precision than the biblical Methuselah's purported 969 years, they remain far from definitive. Error bars in the data do not encompass all potential sources of error, and HD 140283 serves as a prominent illustration of this. Depending on the accurate estimate of its mass, different research teams have proposed Methuselah's ages at approximately 13, 7 billion, 12, 2 billion, and 14, 46 billion years. Yet another study suggests that 12 billion years is the most likely age for the star. Notably, the latter two age values pose no challenge to a 13, 8 billion year old universe, and even the 13. 7 billion year estimate can be accommodated within the error bars. Estimating star ages typically relies on factors like absolute brightness and composition, with the early universe containing only hydrogen and helium. The first generation of stars, through their demise, generated the majority of heavier elements. The age of a star is thought to be older if the concentration of these elements is lower. However, this approach has limitations, as measurement errors can occur, and the heavy metal products of the first supernovas may not have uniformly mixed. Various methods have been proposed for age estimation, but they are still undergoing validation. Some estimates suggest a 70% chance that Methuselah's age falls between 13, 66, and 15, 36 billion years, aligning with the estimated age of the universe at about 13, 8 billion years. However, there is a 30% chance that Methuselah's age falls outside this range, with a 15% chance that it is even lower. While this scenario is less likely, it's comparable to rolling a regular six-sided die and, albeit improbable, getting a six. This assumption, however, excludes other potential sources of error or bias in age estimation. Nevertheless, the undeniable fact is that Methuselah is an incredibly ancient star with a fairly precise age estimate making it the oldest star in the entire cosmos. The detection of Methuselah holds profound implications for our understanding of cosmology, offering insights into the early stages of the universe and challenging previous assumptions about the timeline of cosmic evolution. This discovery propels astronomers to refine their theories to better align with the observed reality. What do you think? Are our celestial dating methods flawed and could the universe be even older than we currently believe? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.